So just when you think it couldn't get any bigger, you interview Joan Jett, and then you're standing next to uh, Slash Miles Kennedy. Uh, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's, uh, it's a dream come true from a little punk rock kid from Chicago like myself. So how uh, do you guys feel to be here at the first annual uh, Alternative Press Music Awards? I'm, I'm really honored. I was, I was really honored to get the call, you know. How do you guys feel? Uh, Joan Jett. I mean, I'm super excited about that. That's Yeah, very, very stoked. Misfits? Misfits. Come on, Misfits. Yeah, yeah. God, you, you might actually have some stuff in the, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, so feel free to steal it back if somebody has already stolen it from you. But if you could steal, uh, we'll go down the line, if you could steal one item from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for your own personal collection, what would you steal? Oh, that's a good question. I'm not going to tell you because if it turns up missing, then I'll get busted. No, 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 we got carte blanche. We all get to steal one thing. It would have to be probably, uh, there's a couple of Jimi Hendrix's guitars in there. That would be the first thing I would go for. You're receiving a an award, yeah. Guitar g legend. I'm not. A, I, I can't even say it. <laughs> it's quite an honor, but it's a little overwhelming. Yeah. You're uh, you're you're honored to win this award, correct? I'm very honored to win it, and uh, you know, I'm just a little speechless. I mean, it's a big award, and I, it's hard to put yourself in those shoes where people call you legend and stuff. Welcome back.